according to you, what would be the differences between private markets and right. public market? Once you feel that the business is stable, once a feel, once you feel that you know the business can generate profit and you know it should be ideally linear one way, it's great to get listed. The second thing I would I also say to founders is that it's not an exit; it's a starting of another journey. So don't think about IPO as an exit, right? Uh, most of the founders, successful founders, listed founders who are there in India have actually continued to run their company for decades, right? Even after getting listed. So, you know, once you are starting to get listed, you'll probably end up running your company for the next, you know, say 20 years or so, 20, 30 years. So it's actually the beginning of the next journey. If you are private, you'll probably be ending up meeting your customers every now and then if you are, say, like a consumer company. When you are listed, you'll end up meeting your shareholders. Yes. So you'll have probably have your shareholders, seniors, you in your apartment complex all around you know wherever you go and just meeting them and uh, you know hearing from them that they have actually invested you know sort of their savings in your company just makes you feel even more responsible I would say so I think that's one you know subtle difference which is there when we were private we had about 30 shareholders today we have 90,000 shareholders wow. So that's immense level of responsibility that you also feel uh, that, you know, now you're actually you have to sort of make money for so many people. Mm -hmm.